So this is where my sheep were on in August 2015. Basically whole the whole of August. As you can see only brambles were left. They don't like brambles. And they ate everything bare. That was like uh, three or four weeks and the square meters is like I think 2600 or 300 or something. 3000. And now, this is their back right now. They've only been here for a few days. They have some nice shade from the rain and from the sun. And some vitamins too, they eat the bark and the leaves of the lower branches. However, this is not the paddock itself, it's just the entry point. The entry point itself is almost as large as the old paddock. The actual paddock is about 2 hectares, 2 hectares of freshly mowed, freshly cut hay. The hay was cut and crushed. Uh, one month ago, at the very same time, the last paddock was set up. Those are my sheep there. That mountain over there is called Fox Mountain. And that's the reason I have this dog. Mars! Istu! He's the guardian of the sheep. He actually thinks he's one of them. So I'm not quite sure what would happen if my dog would see an actual dog. I think he would just freak out or try to eat it or something. Every time I let the sheep to a new paddock, my dog gets his belly full of mice and rats and stuff that live on the field. He's quite happy now. Lambert! He does obey me because I'm his alpha, but as you can see, he has his, his own agenda. His main purpose is to protect the sheep. He doesn't do this by just sticking with them all the time, he just scans around. But as soon as something happens, a noise, or a sheep will make, uh, like, a, like a sheep will scream, danger or whatever, the sheep will run to the safest point, which is this little piece of forest. And the dog will be, be like between the danger and the sheep. And the dog will try to deter the, the danger by barking and being really, really aggressive. It almost feels like he's gonna attack. He has scared lots of people by, like, by acting like this. But he won't attack people. But I've heard like if there's no other chance, if the attacker doesn't back off, the dog will attack the, at the attacker. Also like two of these are reportedly enough to kill a bear. I don't have any bears here. Maybe because I've had this dog for three years, I don't know. Maybe I used to have bears. <laughs> Let's take a closer look of my sheep. They are Estonian native sheep, although not recognized by our government for some reason. But they, they have been genetically tested and they are legit. There's like three or four strands of Estonian native sheep in Estonia. They originated from, from the Scandinavian countries. They were brought in by by the Vikings, I think, or by Drade. They share a common ancestor. They're really, really hardy. And they are bulletproof. They, they resemble goats more than sheep for me because they eat lots of brush also. And, and they're like really, really, really hardy. These can handle a snowstorm like that. I keep them outside all year round. 
they do have a little shed but they don't use it that much wait 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 this is evidence that my dog thinks he's a sheep that was the call for the sheep watch Lambert. The sheep don't give a shit about me right now. They have enough food. But if, uh, like, a few days ago they were on this paddock, I don't know if you can see the contrast. This, greenery, everything's fine. This, dead, cut to the ground. It looks like there's vegetation, but it's all woody and old. The sheep would only eat this in winter if it's like, if they're starving and and in winter also, the sheep supplement their diet by eating barks off of trees. So if these trees would be in their paddock in the winter, the sheep would just strip them bare. I've lost fir trees like this. Which is okay, guys. There's an enemy somewhere. So the dog will go check it out. And the sheep are like, Oh, we don't give a shit because it was just one bark it was the bark meant I'm gonna go take a look and dog will scan around to see if there's a threat and if there's none he will just resume his normal operations looking for field mice and keeping an eye on things so that's all from Koli farm Alan's farm or whatever I haven't named it yet if I have any suggestions put it in the comments it's really really relaxing to see the sheep graze and just sometimes take a chair, chair and just check them out now the sheep feel a bit uneasy by not seeing the dog and they are slowly crawling towards the dog they can't see it right now I can't see it either but as you can see they are not, no longer comfortable being on the far side of the barrack And since I'm just standing here talking to myself, they really don't think me of a, as a threat. After all, I am their owner and I feed them bread and stuff and if they're hungry they just come running to me demanding for food. If there's no water in the sheep water they will come running to me demanding for water. It's really good, it's a good system. Lots of feedback. And there's my dog doing around. And now he's resuming the, his normal operations. Still being wary of whatever threat he might have perceived. Back those trees. There's a street there, so maybe someone was walking past or driving past. He's still like a little bit disturbed by the disturbance. But after a while he will just calm down and continue. And as you can see the sheep still don't give a shit. Okay. Goodbye.